Welcome back to Humboldt State tonight. Pleasure now. J.B. Mathers joined by Danielle Wells, senior volleyball player with the HSU Lady Jacks. Uh, Danielle, thanks for joining us. Of course. Now, last year, of course, you did some of the Thanksgiving and New Year's uh, Eve stuff, and this time you know, get your old whole segment here. So I know that was on your Christmas list this year, so oh, yeah. I'm, I'm happy about that now. Uh, let's talk about, first off, Sue Woodster, your coach. Uh, we've talked to Sue multiple times on the show, and, of course, that Olympic experience, whether it be a player and a coach, we get her perspective on things, but... Uh, what's it like as a player knowing that this coach has coached to an Olympic medal and played and wasn't, wasn't like she was on the team, even though it's impressive, your Olympics, I mean, a star performer with him. What's that like playing for her? It, it's amazing. It's a lot of fun to actually brag about it, you know, when we go places <laughs> and let, her, let everyone know that our coach is the Olympic coach and all that stuff. But on the court, she, she brings so much insight to us, things that uh, we would never think of. I mean, you know, like little things that we have to say at the time, we're like, well, wait, really, is that going to work? And she'll be like, no, you know, we have to actually trust her and know that, I mean, she's an Olympic coach. She knows yeah. what she's talking about. When the, when the <laughs> resume consists of, uh, you know, a couple Olympic medals, I guess uh -huh. that's pretty good resume oh, that yeah. you can't uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. put on paper. Well, what are some of the stuff that, uh, you know, you can make the jump from high school, obviously you've been here now uh, as you're a senior, but what are some of the biggest things you felt that uh, her experience brings to the table? She brings a lot more intensity. Um, I mean, she brings that Olympic intensity. She, she explains to us how, how it is to play at that Olympic level and how far away we are from it. And so it consistently makes us work 10 times harder. You know, we're trying to get to that level that she wants us to be at. It's funny, I remember asking her when she first came back from Beijing, I said, is it frustrating, you know, you go from coaching the greatest volleyball players in the world, and not to take anything away from you guys. I mean, I was a Division II athlete myself, but obviously it's a different pace, and I expect her to be like, well, it's frustrating, or they can't do this. Not the case at all. She says, I love it. These girls work so hard, and they're here because they want to be here. Mm -hmm. Not a case of, you know, they're the best of the best, and it's a job. You, you girls really play for the love of the game. Would you agree with that? Oh, completely agree with that. I mean, there's a lot of girls that are here that just would walk on that walk on the court when they got to college just because they kept wanting to play from, from high school. I was one of them, and I just wanted to keep my volleyball career going. And four years later, I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, four years later, you're a senior now. Uh, week number two of league play, you guys make a tough little road trip. Uh, Sonoma, you've got uh, Monterey Bay, which as far as the driving goes, pretty long. You've got one other on the docket. Take us through as last week and things started. Tough start to league play. Uh, where the team's at right now? Um, this whole weekend's going to be a tough weekend for us. We um, go from, I mean, playing Cal State LA, which easily is always in the top of our league, to Dominguez Hills, which a little different pace, you know. And I mean, we did we did well, but Sonoma is going to be one of those ones that are in the top of our league. Um, San Francisco is going to be in the top of our league. Monterey hopefully should still be our about our level, but Either way, we have potential to be all three of them. And, and yeah, that's should. that's the monster roadie. So what uh, what kind of stuff do you guys do to prepare to get ready for the W? I mean, uh, volleyball is long and involved. You know, you're talking about five sets. It mm -hmm. can be up to. Uh, how do we, we've talked to the soccer team? We talked to, uh, you know, we've got the Sandy coming up next. We talked to the football players. Volleyball wise, what sort of things do you do to prepare when you know you've got a tough upcoming weekend, but a very winnable weekend? We we break things down this, as small as we can go. We break things down player individualized. Tonight we're gonna end up watching film on Sonoma, and um, figure out who their top hitters are and um, where we're supposed to serve to. All those little type of things, and we will change our defense around to adjust to their best hitters. Um, we'll practice on our, our serving, making sure we're serving away from their best passers and little things like that. Now, little things. What, what are your strengths? What do you bring to the table for the HSU Lady Jacks? <laughs> I'm working on my blocking. My blocking and my swinging are my top things. I'm up in the front row with um, Joe as our setter, and then that means there's only other one hitter up there at the same time. So working on placing my, my uh, swings. So do you get over that fear right off the get-go of blocking shots? I mean, you know, so, I mean, you know, I've, I haven't played any volleyball, and a couple times and I was like, oh, my God, keep the ball away from this guy. I don't want to break a nose or something here. Uh, but obviously, your level is such a high level of collegiate volleyball. Uh, what's that like right at the front line? You, you get over it pretty quick. Um, okay. In practice last week, actually, I went up to block Oceana, and the ball went right between my hands, oh. right into my face. So after one of those, you know, it just... You're not too scared of it anymore. Little I'm glad you're playing volleyball, not <laughs> softball, exactly. right? Oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, talk about uh, you've come from Ripon, California, which is in the Modesto area, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Down there in the Central Valley. Uh, you talk about wanting to continue your career. How does a girl from, from Ripon, California say, you know what, I want to totally change a pace? I mean, I imagine Arcata to Ripon is a little different. It's a lot different lifestyle-wise. However, it's, it's another small town. 
Um, Ripon, there's only 15,000 people maybe. Okay. It's a tiny town. Um, everyone knows everyone. And I came back up here and I'm like, well, I moved to another Ripon. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I mean, outside of that, I, I just really liked the experience. I, I needed to get away from home and get up and I wanted to keep playing volleyball. <laughs> what is that student, ex student athlete experience like for someone at, at Humble State University? Obviously, you've been through it now. You started uh, right out of high school and now you're going to graduate. Uh, from Humboldt State and see the through, thing through a full circle. How would you describe to a recruit? Let's say I'm a, I'm a senior who wants to play volleyball at Humboldt State. Uh, they had a men's team, but nevertheless, how would you describe that experience for someone? Um, it takes a lot getting used to. It's a lot. You have to be very organized. You have to um, have your schedule set out like just perfectly because, or else, I mean, you can get behind without it without a problem. You know, you. Um, miss a couple classes and you're behind like that and we, in the season we have to miss classes right we have to we don't have a choice in it you know and you just have to stay on top of it stay close with your teachers and everything and does sue have you guys kind of lean on the freshman i imagine for the freshman it's tough not only is it something new college in general mm -hmm. but you know you miss a day in high school hey what did i miss whatever uh you miss a day or two in college you're really behind mm -hmm. what is some of the the experience you give to your fellow players the young players who not on the court but off the court experience um sue doesn't necessarily have us say you know watch out for our freshmen but we we know it we need we know what we need to um we'll consistently like ask them as our as the seniors we ask them you know how house class is going um did you get your work for that class and a lot of times they may be in one of our classes okay. or one of the other girls classes so so you can keep an eye on them yeah <laughs> All right, what does the future hold for danielle wells after uh, you're done playing here at humboldt state i'm going into physical therapy nice. we'll graduate here with the pre-physical therapy and hopefully off to grad school oh, cool any uh any uh, ideas where you want to go to grad school i'm looking at new mexico and um sacramento actually Okay, maybe San so Francisco. Maybe close to home or maybe yeah, a, a way total out change there. of pace like last time. Well, the last one worked for you very well. So, uh -huh. well, good luck on the long road of this thank weekend, you. Danielle. Thank you so very much. much. All right, there is Danielle Wells talking volleyball right here. We've got Sandy. We're talking a little cross country coming up next as the Jacks are in town. It's all right here on Humboldt State tonight. Warm up to savings on a new low-pie or Vermont casting stove at Schaefer's Ace Hardware in Henderson Center. The stove department has been remodeled and features the latest stoves with the latest technology. Ask about a tax credit on qualifying stoves at Schaefer's. Fixing up your home has never been easier with quality Ace and Benjamin Moore paints from Schaefer's Paint Department. Pick out your colors and let the helpful Ace consultants make it happen. Eureka's helpful hardware place for stoves, paint, and much more. Schaefer's Ace Hardware in Henderson Center, Eureka. Everybody's heard about cash for clunkers, but what about your clunker furniture? Trade-in days are here at Burns Furniture. In with new furniture and out with your old. Trade in your old sofa. Get $100 to $300 toward the purchase of a new one. Trade in your old recliner. Get $50 to $75 toward the purchase of a new one. Trade in that old sectional. Trade in that old dining set. Trade-in days are here at Burns Furniture, 5th and G Streets, downtown Eureka, voted number one. Do you like authentic New York-style pizza? Come down and enjoy Big Pete's Pizza in Arcata on the corner of 15th and G Street or our new Eureka location off the 101 on 5th and R Street. Big Pete's has 12 beers on tap, 10 big flat screen TVs, and arcade games for the kids. Call us up for delivery anytime and let us bring you the finest pizza the North Coast has to offer. That's right, we deliver. Call us in Arcade at 826-1890 or in Eureka at 441-1151. It's time now for the Big Pete's Trivia Question of the Week. First off, congratulations to all those who answered last week's question correct. Sophomore quarterback for the Lumberjacks, Mike Pru, is from Castro Valley, California. This week's question, C.J. Johnson, the new soccer coach for the men and women, took five years off before accepting the HSU job. Prior to that, what CC2A university did he coach soccer at? Send your answers to jb at jbmathers.com for Pete.